First game's up. It's oh. the Giants taking a West Coast trip over to San Francisco. Yeah, that's, that's a big game. But he Rematch. Not gonna, he's not going to play big. Yeah. Come on, I mean, this Sunday. He's going to play big this Sunday. And I see he, him coming up with at least three touchdowns. And your boy, what's his name, the wide receiver. That he Victor did. Cruz. Man, Cruz is the best receiver in the league, in my opinion, right now. And he's and it's going to be a Eli Manning show and Victor Cruz show. And they're going to blow him out, bottom line. Yeah, I agree. I think the Giants wind up going to San Francisco and uh, dealing with San Fran another loss. I know it's, gonna, it's not going to be as easy as I'd like it to be, but I think the, uh, the, the defense that San Fran has right now is going to be a little bit hard to fend off, you know, Eli and his passing yeah. offense. It's just too much Eli, uh, but that's the only thing going for them. And Alex Smith will bruise, and uh, it's going to be rough for them, but uh, look for the Giants to wind up winning that one. Yeah, I'm most definitely. As well. Most definitely. I'm going with the Giants, most definitely. All right. What's the next game up? All right, Cowboys. Taking on the Ravens. Um, Ravens will win this game. Um, I don't see the uh, Cowboys playing big, not against the Ravens. Um, they got to put up points. I think and um, the Ravens going to end up rebounding from that sorry offensive performance they had last week and awful. blow out awful. the Cowboys. It was. It, it was a very awful match they had last week. What was it, 9-6? It was a field goal bowl. Yeah, they still have Super Bowl pick, though. It, well, yeah, well, that's another discussion. They're out, they're out there, but I look for, it for Joey Flacco to come up big in this game. Uh, you know, again, it was a poor offense of last game. Um, you know, the Cowboys are coming off a of bye week. So, you know, look for Tony Romo to do big off a of bye week. They do have a good defense now. So it's, it's, it's defense, defense against game. defense. So the first one who strikes first is going to have the upper hand. Uh, but I do, I, I do want to be in the game. It's about to make some changes in Big D, too. That's no. what I tell you. Big changes. Big changes in, 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 in Big D. All right, we got the Eagles in the Detroit Lions playing also. What do you think about that game? Oh, man, this is going to have to be another comeback game you know, of sorts. It's got to be the Michael Vick, you know, uh, recovery game recovery. part three of That's, this year. And man, he's been jacking up all year. I've been going with him, but the dude just can't hold on to the ball. And at the end of the day, Detroit is a much better team than their record says. To be honest with yeah, you. Matthew agree. Stafford, you got the big Megatron. You know what I mean? I mean, there's a good offensive team right here, and they're going to put up points. This is about Michael Vick holding on to the ball. Yeah. It's just ridiculous, man. I, and it just hurt my feelings this last week. This man fumbled three times, lost two. Yeah, I, I agree. I think uh, uh, Michael Vick and the uh, Philadelphia Eagles wind up winning this one. Yeah. yeah, the Detroit are lacking in defense. They're hurting this year. They were one of my top fantasy picks in defense. You know, they've come up. You know, just a meaning this year. And it's, a, and it's bound for the Eagles to have an explosive day. Yeah, I agree with you. I think they have an explosive day. All right. Another big blockbuster game. The Packers taking on the Texans. This is going to be big right here. But Houston for real, bro. Houston for real. They want to make noise this year. The offense is powerful. Defense straight. I mean, this is the most complete team in the NFL right now. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with you. I think the Texans are a pretty overall defensive team and team. offensive team on both sides of the ball. Uh, they, they got two backs in the backfield. Either one of them can run it. Either, either, one, either one of them can run it. Deadly. Man, and, and they, they complete this year. And I believe they're going to make noise. NFC Championship Ravens with them, they're they going to make noise. Yeah, I, I, I think you have to wind up having a little bit more offensive performance out of uh, Andre Johnson in this game. He was a little yeah. bit slow last yeah. week. You know, um, uh, lining up on the carries on Adrian Foster, or you're going to wear that horse down. Uh, they did lose Cushing, which is uh, yeah. a big, big, big loss at defense. But that J.J. Watt is a beast. So look for him big to slap down some of them Aaron Rodgers balls that <laughs> they're going to yeah. come flying out there. But you, you can't you can't always hold down Aaron Rodgers. You don't want to contain him. We also got the Denver Broncos and the San Diego Chargers. All right, let me tell you what I think about this game, though. Uh oh. I think both teams are going to be at 500. After this, you got you got the three and two charges that lost the last two games. They've been exposed. Mm -hmm. uh, you got the two and three um, Bay, uh, Broncos. I'm sorry, Broncos. They gonna be they gonna end up beating for the Rivers and the San Diego Chargers at home. home. At home, yeah, at home. At home. I mean, it's just right now they 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 won their first three. They gonna drop the next three, and they've just been exposed. I don't know what's going on there, but I mean, they've just been exposed. Well, like you said earlier about the Lions. The, the Broncos are a much better team than what their record says. Mm -hmm. I mean, they lost to some really good teams. So, and, and Peyton has played, you know, 
he's admirably yeah. since he's since he's been here. This is only game number six for him. So I, I, I do I do look for Denver to pull up the upset here at Chargers. Um, and uh, both teams wind up being at 500, going for that fight for the AFC West. All right, guys, these are the rest of our picks for Sunday's games. Rick, what are we looking like over there? All right, Kenny, uh, we have a similar taste in, in, in teams here this week. We got the Browns beating the Bengals. We both have the Colts over the Jets, the Bucks over the Chiefs. We both have the Falcons taking out the Raiders, Cardinals, Patriots, and Vikings are our picks. With the only game that we disagree on on the slate, the Rams taking on the Dolphins. I got the Rams, even though they lost their best receiver, Danny Armadillo. Mm -hmm. But you have the Dolphins. Oh, yeah, man. The Dolphins have been playing these teams big um, the last two weeks. They've really been playing teams tough. Tan Ham is showing that he's a quarterback that's supposed to be in this league. And Reggie Bush is going to be the decided factor in this game. Um, because he's having the best season of his career right now as we speak. Yeah, I agree with you. He is having a great year. Now, we were at the Panthers and Seahawks game this past weekend, and we had our reporters who went out and got some reactions from the crowd about this coming week's games. You can check them out. Check it out real quick. All right, guys, we're back. I found another tailgater. His name is John. I'm going to ask him about the 49ers and the Giants. Who we think is going to win this next week? All right, John. We got the Giants coming to the Bay, right? 49. Best defense in the league. I think San Francisco is going to win. He said San Francisco is going to win. And why is San Francisco going to win this game? The Giants like to play a comeback. They like to get late, you know, mess up in the fourth quarter. They're trying to come back and win all the games. But I think San Francisco's defense is too good. What's your prediction on the Cowboys Ravens game? Uh, Always Cowboys for me. Uh, I'm here to give the Panthers fans a two-week notice that you got a loss coming in two weeks. And uh, it's going down in two weeks. I can't wait. I'm here with Joe, and he's going to give me the prediction on the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots game next week. Who do you think is going with that? Seattle, hands down. Seattle, hands down. Why do you think that? Because, I mean, they're coming out strong. I mean, they're forced to be reckoning with that home every time in Seattle Stadium. We got a crazy fan base, and uh, I know myself and a lot of the fans are Tom Brady haters. All right, guys, thanks to Tiffany Williams and Katina Sue for their reporting out there at the game. Great job, ladies. Make sure you check them out on Twitter as well. Uh, follow them here. Also, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to another episode FNC Real Sports Talk. I want to give a special thanks to my boy Jabari Young, Young, for hooking us up with this new touchdown song. Is that new the anthem? Highest. For the FNC Sports Talk Show. And also, I want y'all to check them out. Y'all can check them out at www.verbs.bandcamp.com and also www.fearlessyoung.com. Appreciate you once again, baby. Check us back next Thursday. We got a new episode. Wait. Coming back your way. Peace. Stay tuned for the best sports show around. FNC Real Sports Touchdown. 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 FNC Real Sports Touchdown. Real commentary straight from the battleground. FNC Real Sports Touchdown. 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 FNC Real Sports Touchdown. It's the clash of the champions. Keeping it real. Get the truth about sports from Kenny McNeil and Rick Del Campbell. Equipped with the ammo. Predict on the outcome.